Hey Cancer, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your third week of September general love reading. Now keep in mind it's a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that is watching. But if you would like a personal reading and all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today and hope that you guys are doing well. So for my Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I got was Let's Get Away by T.I. T.I. happens to be a Libra, so you could be dealing with a Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individual. Also, you could be planning on going on a trip or a vacation with a love interest in Libra season, which is coming up next. That is September, October time frame. Um, I'm going to tell you, I'm getting two messages with this song, especially, you know, with the song lyrics, it's, it's talking about... Um, it, it can go both ways, but what I'm getting intuitively is like, literally, I feel like your person, someone that you're dealing with now, you guys may not have been on the best of terms. You guys could be on rocky grounds. So and it's like, you know what? Let's start over. Let's have a refresh. Let's get out of town. Let's enjoy ourselves, kick up our heels and just start from scratch, like reconnect with each other. And then also with the let's get away, some of you guys need to get completely away from your social circles and people who are naysayers and people who are in your damn business. I'm getting that also, okay? So let's see what we get for you guys for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. Something tells me to look at the cards at the back and the bottom. You got the lovers. Yeah, it's time for you guys to get away and reconnect because you guys maybe feel like you're drifting apart. You got water, things drifting in water. He's a ghost. She's physically here. So you guys can feel like you're drifting apart here, okay, with the lovers. See what's at the back of the deck. You have the page of pentacles. This is like an offer of something, something stable, something tangible. Um, somebody could be investing in the relationship now in a way that they weren't before. Pentacles also are associated with investments. Someone's first and last initial could be C G M W P L or S. Okay. So we're gonna go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which happens to be the chariot. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and then we'll get clarifiers for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. Currently at the bottom of the deck, you got the Four of Cups. Yeah, for a lot of y'all, you feel unfulfilled in this connection or if there was a recent connection that you were in, you're no longer in it, you weren't feeling very fulfilled. I feel like this person is going to reach back out to you with some type of offer. Whatever's in that cup is being offered to this person. So this person is going to try to reach back out to you, but I feel like for a lot of y'all, you may be questioning it because he's not reaching his hand out to accept it. He's looking at it like, should I accept it? I feel like there are some arguments. I'm definitely getting arguments, yeah. Eight of Wands, fast moving communication coming out of the blue unexpectedly. Some unexpected words, heated words possibly, because Wands is fire. Fire can be passion, fire is action, but fire also could be temperament. So there could have been some words that was said out of the heat of you know the moment, some type of anger. Um, and so some of you guys may be questioning whether or not you want to even entertain this person because of something that they said to you the last time you guys spoke. Yeah. You got the nine of wands, the wounded warrior. Something that they said hurt your feelings or you hurt theirs. Getting that for sure. You just had the eight and now you got the nine. That's how I knew because the eight of wands is usually fast moving communication coming out of blue unexpectedly. But that's something that you want. It's unexpected, but you want it. But to have it followed up with the nine of wands, yeah, like I said, it was something that was hurtful. Somebody could have said something very disrespectful. I'm getting that also. So let's go ahead and go through the deck. Yeah, and it had, yep, something was hurtful. Look at that. And it had you in your feelings. Three of swords, heartbreak, sorrow, sadness, and grief. It felt like, you know, like a spirit to the heart, like a sword to the heart. Yeah. So again, we want the chariot and a card that comes before and a card that comes after for cancer, sun, moon, rising, and Venus individuals. There you go. So in front of you, you got, again, the eight of wands, fast moving communication coming out of the blue unexpectedly. Also, Cupid's and Rose. So I feel like for a lot of you all, this person is going to try to reach back out. I feel like for a great deal of you all watching, you and this person are not connected right now. You're not in a relationship with this person. And then it's coming out of the blue. For others, it could be like this person just says, you know what, let's go out of town. Let's take a trip. And they just invite you to this trip. It's, something, it's like certain things are already paid for. Or they already organized and orchestrated how the trip is going to go, the Florida trip, when it's going to happen. Some of you guys are definitely going to invite to go out of town. Here's your energy, the chariot. And then behind you, you have the six of wands, success, attainment, achievement, and victory. Leo says, Aries, strong Leo energy. Some of you guys could have met this person in Leo season. And it feels like things are moving very quickly. You got the five of swords. Didn't I say arguments, conflicts, disagreements? I said that. I feel like somebody said some things that was out of line. 
Some of them may have been accused of third party because you got one, two, three people here. Some of you guys may have heard something straight directly out of the horse's mouth. Some will be born in the year of the horse also. You were your love interest. Whatever for the case, I'm getting very strongly that, um, yeah, it could have been something where someone was accused of a third party because I always say how you see all these flags. But then the one that's closest to us is a red flag and it has a triangle, like a lover's triangle. Somebody's ex may have said something. That goes back to the lover, you know, the um, handsome straddle of the horse's mouth. Somebody's ex may have reached out and was, re you know, seeing you on social media or seeing certain stuff and found you somehow and inboxed you and said, you know, asked questions about you and this new person. Because I feel like for a lot of y'all, this is new. Something new. Bottom of the deck, the moon. Things hidden, things unknown, things you don't have clarity about. Some secrets could have came to the surface. And then also, I feel like un plans that are unknown to you are brewing. They are brewing underneath the surface. Like, you don't know about it. I really feel like somebody is going to invite you to go on some type of trip. I don't know why, but this is making me think about how planes, you know how planes ascend into the sky like they just start going up in this manner. Somebody may invite you on a trip. I feel like because you have wands and wands, wherever it is, it's, it's a, in a location where it's hot. Like, <clears throat> I know we're just coming, wrapping up summer and things like that in, in mostly a lot of areas, but this is a place where it's pr probably pretty much hot all the time, like a Dubai or Africa, you know, something like that. And, you know, the temperatures change every various places, but these are places that are known, you know, like the south areas where it's known to be pretty warm, even in the wintertime. Let's part the deck. Yeah, wow, six of wands again. So this person wants to have success with you. This is success, attainment, achievement, victory. This person wants to have some type of success with you. Um, I also feel like once you go on this trip, you're going to see this person in a different light. Now, everyone isn't going on a trip. It could be an emotional trip for some of you guys, but something successful is coming out of it because emotional trip, you got emotions. Now, also, we do have a full moon coming up in the next two days, okay? September 17th, we have a super moon and it's a partial eclipse coming up. And for some of you all, you may have a successful conversation with this person. You see how he's going right towards the moon? Again, the moon rules over your emotions, feelings. There may be a successful conversation, no arguments, just getting each other's understanding. Um... I'm also getting like learning each other's triggers and talking about what presses the other person's button so you guys can respect each other's boundaries. Getting that also, yeah, there's a reconciliation coming in. Judgment, reconciliation, bringing the situation back to life. No more secrets. Of right, there's things hidden, things unknown. In reverse, no more secrets. Somebody's like telling all their tea. I feel like just being vulnerable, you guys expressing how you feel, what bothered you about, whatever. There, there were some arguments. You have the Queen of Swords. Somebody may have felt like they were talking to them like they were small. And, you know, there, there were some arguments here for sure. Okay. Bottom of the deck, you have the cherry. That's you. And you may have felt like, you know what? I'm not moving forward with this connection. You got me fucked up. Also, when somebody comes back or tries to reach out, you guys may say, like, no, thank you. I don't see us having a future moving forward. The cherry is your divine vehicle. It's helping you move forward and not go backwards. You don't drive backwards unless you're reversing. And why would you want to reverse unless, you know, you're parking somewhere? You know, but I'm just getting one of those energies. Like, for some of you guys, you may not even be open to it. For some. We're going to see. That's going to clarify for this Eight of Wands. Damn, that flipped out quick. Yeah, this conversation coming in. King of Swords. Sword of just Sword down the snow. Again, somebody got accused of third party. You got one, two, three butterflies here. Somebody got accused of third party situation. It could have been. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I did say T.I. is a Libra. Could be Libra. Libra. Okay. Again, there's one, two, three people here. So, wow, and I just re realized, like, you know, when I picked this up, you got the queen of swords, then you got, yeah. So, somebody may have been married, and someone is thinking that they're still dealing with their ex-wife, ex-husband. Doesn't have to be. Or, like I said, an ex-wife, ex-husband could have reached out and, and said some things. I feel like somebody was definitely being messy in this situation. I, I keep hearing, like, this relationship is in vacation mode. Some of you guys are definitely going on vacation. Bottom of the deck, you got the Ace of Cups in reverse. Again, some of you guys may be like, no, thank you. I'm not offering my cup to you. I'm not going to continue to move forward with you. I'm not interested. Too much drama early in the game. Not interested. Someone's first, middle, last initial could be W, M, T, J, C, P, S, or A. All right, I just heard Antoinette or Annie. I was going to clarify for the Six of Wands, Universal Energy. Damn. Okay, this one landed here, so we're going to take it. But you also have the World Card that flipped out sideways. 
uh, the world card is talking about travel distance for a movement. You got Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, and Scorpio is sideways. So again, some of you guys don't know whether or not you want to move forward with it. You're indifference. Because upright is yes, reverse is no. Sideways is uncertainty, indifferent, unsure. And then this landed right on top of the six of wands and it's face down, which means we can't see what it is. So some of you guys are unsure if you can see yourself moving forward with this person. But also, because we can't see what, what's on this card, whatever this card is could be the deciding factor about whether or not you're going to move forward with this individual. And you got it sideways, right? It came up like this. So you got the magician, Gemini, Virgo. When Virgo sees it right now, some of you guys may be thinking about what you're going to do, right? Like what decision you're going to make. Are you going to move forward? Because the world card definitely talks about forward movement, cycles ending, cycles beginning. Um, you got two major arcanas that you're clarifying first and foremost. So that's quite powerful. So this is a big deal. The magician, I feel like for some of you guys, you feel like this person hasn't been straightforward with you. Because the card didn't come straight out, like upright or reverse. It came out sideways. So you feel like this person has been manipulative. And I do feel like they've been a bit manipulative. The magician is a master of illusions. They can make you see whatever it is they want you to see. And when it comes out sideways, it's like they're not honest. They're not being completely honest about everything. So they could have left you quite skeptical about whether or not you want to reconcile with them or see something moving forward. But again, I, I, I feel like... This person's gonna invite you on a trip because the world you travel the world, right? If you're going on a trip, you're going in a different location. So I feel like this person's gonna invite you on some type of trip, and you guys could kind of come back together. It's like something like you guys are vibing together. Like when you go out of town with this person, you just realize like I really enjoy being in this person's company, you know. So something's coming up with travel for a lot of you all, and then for others, somebody else, I just also heard someone could be a flight attendant or a pilot. And then I also heard emotionally, some of you guys are on autopilot. You're just going through emotions and um, trying to manifest an understanding for the situation also. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Cancer, someone rising in Venus and the visuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, subscribe, click the notification button. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye.